When you imagine a home that has been owned by the same family for hundreds of years, you might picture a European manor house. But occasionally, this has happened in the United States as well. Hi everyone, Ken here. Welcome to This House. Today, we set off to Richmond County, Virginia to explore Sabina Hall. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House. In 1710, Landon Carter was born into the wealthiest of the colonial families in Virginia. His father, Robert Carter, simply referred to as King, owned over 300,000 acres across Virginia. At this time, before the U.S. had been founded, the colonies were still building their social infrastructure, which lacked good schools. So King sent Landon off to England to receive a world-class education. When Landon returned to New England, his father gifted him a 50,000-acre plantation in Richmond County, Virginia. On the plantation, Landon labored an estimated 500 slaves to cultivate wheat, barley, tobacco, corn, and cotton. In 1735, at the center of his land, high up on a ridge overlooking the river below, he built his Palladian-style mansion. If you were arriving from the road, you would follow a mile-and-a-half-long driveway as it wound through ancient groves of hickory and oak trees until arriving at a clearing with manicured gardens surrounding the house. The brick and stone house was entered through a series of heavy wood doors set behind shutters. This would lead you into the entrance hall, measuring 48 feet by 18 feet wide. The hall extended all the way to the back of the house, where it overlooked terraces leading down to the river below. The walls were finished in panels which had been handcrafted from heart pine and decorated with family portraits, including one of the only known original portraits painted of Landon's father, King. Through the archway to the side was the solid walnut staircase with Solomonic balustrade gracefully contrasting against the heart pine wall panels. At the top of the stairs, we can see in greater detail just how intricately crafted each piece of millwork was. Turning around, we can head back into the entrance hall and imagine the flickering light of candles reflecting from the glass cabinets straight ahead. Each room was well thought out not just for aesthetics, but also for function as we can see a writing desk cozied up to a stone hearth long before the days of radiator heating. In fact, every room had a fireplace. As we head into the parlor, we see the heart pine wood paneling continued throughout with large windows to allow for natural light to illuminate the rich interior spaces. Through the opening sat the library, with pilasters framing the fireplace anchored by a gilded mirror. In lieu of built-ins, freestanding bookshelves were fit perfectly in place about the room. While it might not seem that impressive today, the sheer volume of books present in this picture might have been the largest collection in all of Virginia at the time. When Landon passed away in 1778, he left his estate to his son, who was known as Wild Bob. He developed a terrible gambling habit. Had he lived much longer, he might have lost the family fortune, but he passed away only nine years after inheriting the estate leaving it to Landon II, who got the family's finances back on track. With the estate now secure again, Landon II was able to pass his estate to his next of kin, who did the same over and over again for hundreds of years. In present day, the house known as Sabina Hall continues to be owned by King's descendants, making it one of the only houses in the United States to be owned by the same family for nearly 300 years. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Which room was your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments section. And while you're there, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an exciting episode of This House. I would also like to say a special thank you to our This House supporters whose names you can see on screen right now. If you would like to see your name on the screen and show the world your support for the production of these videos, join our membership program today. I'll see you next time on This House.